Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This week, or for a midweek video, a quick update on the specialized Big Hit BBS HD build we're doing. And I haven't done anything on this for quite a while, but we've been trying to get hold of various drivetrain parts, which hasn't been the quickest or easiest process with shortages everywhere. So this is gonna be uh, a single speed bike using the power that you get from an ASI controller with BBS HD to give you a high range of RPMs so you can get away with using a single speed. And we're actually gonna be able to try out something that was made by Johnny at 49 Machine, and he's made this adapter so we can use the uh, front sprockets on the rear here. So what we're gonna do is space out this gear and put it in an absolutely perfect bang on the middle chain line for a single speed bike. So I'm gonna be using spacers, which I 3D printed, to put this in the right position. And then I'll show you that on the back of the bike. So the spacers here are printed in like a, a carbon reinforced material, but they just slot directly over the splines that are on the, uh, on the free wheel back here. With the last of the spacers in position, you just put on the lock ring as you would do normally and cinch that into position with the correct tool, which is this one here. So now that's all been finished, you can see it spins quite nicely on the back there. So I'll get this loaded up onto the frame and you can see what I mean with the chain line. So the rear wheel is now back on the bike and you can see here we have the sprocket with the spacers here. And this is gonna run up to the lackey that we have on the front here. This is a 42T here. This is a 30T here. And normally I would go for closer to a one-to-one -one ratio, but this is only a 24 inch back wheel here. So there's gonna be considerably less stress than say um, on the fat bike down there. So you can see, well, hopefully you can see, um, there's a very, very straight line running all the way through here to this. And by running single speed, it means we can use a really nice fat chain. that will be the fattest chain that we can get safely through the cages on the derailleur here. And with this derailleur, this is uh, a clutch derailleur that we it took us a long time to get hold of actually. Uh, we didn't want to spend huge amounts of money, so we picked this one up. And we're gonna be using this to tension the chain and keep it from jumping around all over the place. Now, because it's single speed, we're not gonna to need to use a big long run all the way to the front of the bike to a shifter. There doesn't seem to be any point sticking a shifter on if we're not gonna shift gears. So what I'm planning to do is design a device that will sit on here and let us control very precisely the tension on this system here and pull it into the correct alignment and allow us to adjust that as is necessary and it's just gonna strap onto here or clip onto here and allow us to use a screw to put the correct tension on the cable that runs through and puts that in the correct position. So hopefully you're gonna be commissioning this drivetrain fairly soon. And really, apart from replacing the brakes, the only real thing then is to sort out the battery. And there are a couple options we're looking for. One is to do the under the two battery here, just have a single unit here. And the second is to sort of have a split pack and run it down each side of this and have a, a rack that essentially bolts through using this space. And then we can put the external controller here in this section here. So we're still kind of umming and ahhing a bit on what we do with that. But yeah, it's, it's good to get this bike going again and do some more progress on it and we'll get the frame all nicely cleaned up and shiny and looking forward to doing some riding with it. Um, if you're interested in this single speed sprocket adapter here, um, that was Johnny at 49 Machine that made that. We haven't got any plans to sort of mass produce them as yet and we want to test this one out first and if it's successful and people like it, then maybe we can make that available. Anyway, thanks for watching the High Voltage channel. Cheers.